Let's make sure to get out of here. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Shade OG here, Green 420 here. And I wanted to start the video by letting you guys know I was going to start at Hanako's building, but the video would have been way too long. This is almost a three hour fucking video, even with all the cuts I made down. And it's it's an awesome fucking ending. Hey, v, I heard. Sad, but. Well, your you thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. The same glum face. Who, oh, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm -hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but. He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Air. See that? I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Thanks, Misty. You were right. Choice spot. So what... What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know gonna be a legend in this city and I'm gonna leave you alone now take your time fucking scared me know that thought you were on your way out no still here for now you know should call anyone you want to say goodbye to Worst case scenario. Is that what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. I'm calling Pan Am. Pan Am. Just wanna hear her voice. Sure as hell hope it's that and only that. Mm. Hey. Pan Am, hey. Do you know what time it is? Won't keep you long. Just wanted to hear you. Hmm. You picked an interesting hour for it. B? Okay, what's going on? Something. Something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk, big time. But I have to. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay, then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it, I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this. Hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. But... And 
of discussion. Well played. Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Probably for the best. Would have said too much anyway. Was good you called. Wish I'd have had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. Mm -hmm. Then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. Gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. with Pan Am. Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. I don't work out, uh... Just wanna be there for it. Where? Just me now. Ready to talk? Ready. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me. Need a way into Arasaka Tower. Now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny? I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First... Why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well... Odd as it sounds... A prison of souls. A... Prison of souls? No. This might not fly over the hollow. Mikoshi. That's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again... Just to be clear... You've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. What? Okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right. I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Is that you, V? Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. 
Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Okay. Definitely Johnny. He is one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. <laughs> Something that doesn't give me the chills, finally. Balance, friendship, love. Uh -huh. V, have you been keeping something from me? Huh? What? Why? You're making a strange face. I, uh... <clears throat> no, I'm fine. Okay, and Johnny's? The moon. Well, it doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. Hm. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistaking that ride ever. You've scared me, you know that. Didn't think anything could scare you. Hey. We're here to help, okay? Come on. Everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, V. <coughs> Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? Um, I guess... Mighty good to hear. You had us worried back there. You passed out and we couldn't shake you awake. It sure does seem like your uh, condition might be getting worse. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help. That's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Pray I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like Let's we don't have one neither. The whole clan knows we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <laughs> veterans are a fist bull at most. The rest <laughs> mostly raid rinky-dig convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need the to know. Is solid, solid. The aim is to help you out. The waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V, finally. How's your health? Been better. So... What have you guys patched together? We still have details to iron out, but we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out, but only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. Sure these plans are up to date? Completely reliable? Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. I'm not one to lie. This tunnel gambit is risky, but if it works, that's our way into Mikoshi. 
So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds, but we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corps' cirques, and we only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? Construction site. What do we got for security? Whole place spiked? Militech out in full force? It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Uh-huh. What's a Cirque? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. Uh. It's automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower. Then go on to Mikoshi. Sounds doable in theory to me. No competing ideas? Then let's get prepping. We'll need bucket loads more information. It's the only way to determine if this plan holds It'll water. It'll be full of holes no matter what we turn up, Saul. I can tell you that already. But what's the alternative? To call off the assault? To let him uh, die? Pan Am is right. We have to accept these risks come what may. That much we owe you. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? How much longer? Hey, you and Pan Am. Something I need to know about. It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. Any day now? Pan Am thinks so too? You'd have to ask her yourself. CB, you're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden the outsider's presence is noticed and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Understand? Yeah. At least I think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you'll need. We need a decent neck connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? How much Alt. longer? She's... It's... An AI. From... Out past the black wall. Are you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Cause I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me, V. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung, anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota, she'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. That's just it. It doesn't matter where we go, we're strangers in our own land. Every state is practically its own country. It wasn't any different back then. Unity is a state of mind. Prep Teddy. coming along all right? <laughs> you call this prep? I'd call it a damn improvisation. But that's just Can me. Can it, Bobby? Lo and behold, 
Isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner. Standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So hardware's military. But how the hell did you cram all that into a panzer? Oh, small beans compared to the tricks we pulled with Scorpion during the war. When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Firepower up top. What is it? A rapid-fire 70-millimeter multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take it for a spin now? Want to get a feel for her over the terrain. Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. Let's get back to the matter at hand, shall we? <laughs> Hey, Saul sent me. It's been a long while. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. Prefer nobody knew I was there. Your tech up to it? Up to it, he asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear prying eyes. Not at all curious what I'm going in for? You don't ask me, I don't ask you. That is the path to a lasting relationship, brother. Everything is ready. You can go in. Ice filled tub. Favorite bit. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vectors, man. Every time. Feels like I'm deeper. Can't tell if that's a good or bad thing. Your perception of cyberspace, that is what changes. You adapt to it, the raw flow of data. It follows that your world gradually fades. You witness your mind's defense system slowly give in. Saying, the more I'm here, the more I lose touch with the outside, with reality. You lose nothing. Cyberspace is where we awake from what we know as dreams. Johnny's currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger, 
A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. V. Seemed to me you didn't care a lick about Johnny. That he ceased to exist for you, even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. Let me get this straight. I mean to say you only agreed to help me because of Johnny. And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Because mm. for a second you were displeased, and I seemed a side note to all this. To observe the two of you interacting. Informative. Need your help, Walt. Don't got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. You say nothing. Matter of perspective. Why? Think what you will, but seems to me I rose from the dead. Only question is, what now? You believe you cheated death. It is death that has cheated you. You are in between. This you will come to understand in Mikoshi. Or rather you. You should already have a notion. You encountered entities from the other side. Not so? A song so me linked to the black wall the black wall correct the woman merely touched it yet you witnessed the consequences she too strove to cheat death but a brush with infinity renders but one thing certain nothing lasts forever in your reality why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me surely an all-powerful AI can handle that your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. Hmm. Guess that'd be... human of me. Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. What should I expect there, in Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. And Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. Is there anything we can know for certain? Yes, that Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free? They will be integrated with me. Constructs will be integrated? I mean you're gonna absorb them. Assimilate. No wonder you jumped at this chance. You wanna destroy Mikoshi. Swallow all the psyches in there. Mikoshi is a prison. Through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. Not sure Johnny would like the sound of that. And yet he is absent, because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. <laughs> Hardly. Doubt you first gab with those constructs, ask them what they think. There would be no point in this. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection.
What's on this yard? Affected virus? A back door. It will open a passage for me. This is how you will get me into negotiating. Only then will I be able to help you. I hope you haven't cooked up any surprises, Alt. Use the key once you have reached Mikoshi. Should I look for a specific access point? I can already tell you I saw the way to Tokyo will be back in every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. We got him back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 100. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? Sorry about the damage. <sighs> Peachy. Good. Real good. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Saul. He came around looking for you. On my way. Saul, you wanted a word? Hop up here. What's with the gathering? Something off? It's nothing about the raid. Hop on and you'll find out. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Alda Caldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Speech! Speech! Fuck me, Saul. Brought me to the brink of a heart attack. Do your worst. You're one of us now, V. You're an Alda Caldo, damn it. Great to Thanks have for you everything, with us, v. v. And don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the Welcome way of it? Welcome to the family. He Welcome to the clan! He is. The most dysfunctional ever! Thanks Come on, for everything, V. Say your piece! Alda Caldos always paid a Jack, day. it's incredible. See? He likes it. Listen, as soon as we're back from Mikoshi, we'll celebrate. And I know just the place. My treat, of course. We'll hold you to that. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch's too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow is shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. Drink, this is still your night. Some basketball and you. found glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you alright? Yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? Are you alright? Snug as a glove. Feels like I've been wearing it a while. Don't you think you have? You earned this jacket. And the Alda Caldo's devotion. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. 
Listen to this. I need me some ammunition. Three or four packs worth. You got any left? I might have. You have to look around. So maybe I'll take two more 45s. Seeing as Dakota you, seems uh, to be feeling generous today. Mad at me. I once found a dead magpie under the hood of my car. It had been a cold night. The magpie, looking for warmth, had found the engine. And couldn't get out next morning. Got cooked alive. I still remember the smell. Charred feathers, misery, death. The moment I met you, that vision appeared before my eyes. Today, I understand why. Uh, okay. Sorry I even brought it up. But your future is not etched in stone, V. Remember that. What's this? Yard sale of some sort? Essentially. Take what you want. And the occasion would be... The end times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. I thought you were someone else. Salam alaikum. Wish I were on the road. Can't you see I'm busy? We have a saying. Catch you on the trail. I too have got things to do. Get a job, why don't you? I think we'll pull through tomorrow. I know these people. Some better than myself. The focus of mind, sense of purpose, calm before the storm. They'll give it their all. Yeah, I bet they will. Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. Saul. Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me... If we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split were it to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? choice. Not the clan to think you and Pan Am are acting as one. In other words, you're playing politics. It isn't that simple. V, I'll send these people to their deaths tomorrow. So I have to know I'm not doing it just for you, me, or Pan Am. But for the good of the clan, I get it. You'll understand eventually. That jacket wasn't for nothing. How about us, Saul? We good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest.
sensors malfunction at higher altitudes. Well, the gauntlet did hover just above the ground. You lost? Not in those conditions. I'll see to the yes? sensors. What's up? You keep checking the thrust. Maybe something is loose. It has to glide quick and quiet over that construction site tomorrow. I know you got this. Give me some. Oh, fuck this shit. Over here, V. Take a seat. We have this little ritual we engage in. What's this ritual about? A few cold ones ahead of a raid. Oh, <laughs> that kind. But this isn't your average brew. It's one of the last bottles from our very first run. We kept a few crates, but good luck. What was it someone said then? Shit, can't remember who. Someone said, when we finish them all, the Aldecado's luck will run out. Ah, superstitious bullcrap is your hobby. <laughs> Says the brother whose hand is all shaky when he pops one open. I'll take a swig. Well, well, not bad. To tomorrow. To goddamn safe returns. To Saul and Pan Am. Because if they don't kiss and make up, everything's liable to go tits up. Bob, you're just always the optimist, ain't you? V, you must know where they stand. Do you? You it's fellas really that bad between them. The truth is, we need cash and fast. Amen. This Mikoshi is a personal thing to you, but Saul, he sees an opportunity for the clan. If anyone of the family is still left standing tomorrow, talk to them. They've buried the hatchet. Buried the hatchet. Well, I'm really glad they've come to agree on sending us on a suicide mission. Be cool now, Bobby. It's nothing personal, V. I'm just saying how things are. This is all my fault. I'm exposing the entire family to danger. I'm sorry. You've got nothing to be sorry about. The situation is fixing to be a doozy, sure. But if the Aldecaldos are to rise from the ashes, it'll be thanks to you. And thanks to this raid. Huh. For once, I agree with him. Do you fellas really think we'll find anything? I want to give Saul a fair chance here. Planned everything as best he could. He should start planning his own retirement. Would you want to take his place? <laughs> Not in a thousand years. So I thought. Let's focus on tomorrow. We can talk politics once the dust settles. I'm in. I can promise you one thing. Alda Caldos will survive. Make sure of it myself. Easy on the promises, V. But you're right. This clan has a chance to rise from the ash. I'm of the same mind. If we come back from Mikoshi, if this crazy-ass plan works, it'll be a fresh start for the Aldecaldos, I say. Mm -hmm. This feels like the part where Bobby says, if... Hey, now. I'm no defeatist. Don't call me that. All right, best be going. See you tomorrow. Do you fellas really think we'll find anything of value there? Yeah, Seldom here, happens, but... Anybody. Not even if you spike the rims. I think you swerved a little bit. <sighs> Don't you all have somewhere you need to be, huh?
Yo, where are you going? Don't tell her this might be the end. <laughs> Either you live the life, or the life lives you. Job in Colorado to come to me. Fire and Mike. Be here tomorrow. Brother, we don't know that. But if you send that, she's going to imagine the worst. Is that what you want? What am I supposed to write? That you miss her. Love her. You what now? See her soon and so on. It's not a lie if you don't know what will happen. That there might as well be the truth. What's up, Chu? You want some? I had it just a second ago, I swear. You probably just caught CB chatter from some rappers. Militech broadcasts on modular frequencies. Forget it, trust me. And if I do latch onto their signal and we find out who's on the site, what then, huh? I had it just a second ago, I swear. Look what the cat dragged in. Revolver, empty bottles, middle of nowhere. Perfect. Hm. I'm a believer in old ways and legacy tech. I can't tell you why, but I don't quite trust Chrome. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bang. I heard that a long time ago, round right about when I was your age. I remember it to this day. I'm expecting bangs in good numbers tomorrow, so I'm trying to remind myself of that silence. Mind if I join you? Dad, I even remember what it's like not to hear my mind churning away. If you like. Twelve bottles shattered in 15 seconds. Full focus. That's your only chance of doing it. I'm doubtful you'll pull it off. Let's find out. Are you that confident? Well, I'll bet my revolver you can't do it. I'll start counting as soon as you step on that line. Begin. What kind of machinery have you got in there? You should be giving me lessons. Fine shooting, kid. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bang. Learn something after all. Let this be a reminder to you. I can wait. Hey, how go things? V, something up? Good. Really good, in fact. How about you? I'm trying to get the Panzer running. She's stubborn, our dame, but I won't give either. So, time for a ride? Yeah, I'm game. Hop in. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Does it seem like she's tending to the left? Makes for me think. Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. It's better, doesn't it? So, last another, just to be sure. Yep, beautiful. All right, that's probably good. Let's head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear.
heading back. I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. Nervous about tomorrow? It's not a matter of nerves. Not anymore. Don't you want one? Are you drinking and driving or not? Uh, why the hell not? Back during the war, before we were first deployed, we were trained to keep stress in check. Do you want to know how? How? They gave us chem cocktails. Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails. During the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day, we'd get fresh recruits. Still, they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. So, not afraid of anything at this point? If only it was that simple. I'm not concerned about tomorrow. Raids like that are second nature. It's what's going on in the camp. Eh, nah, no matter. I'm talking silly now. Come on. All in family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself, that this family needs a shakeup. Earth to you. Be, what about me? What's your take? Saul ought to step down, pass the torch to Pan Am? We'll see how things look tomorrow, once the smoke is cleared. Your turn. What do you reckon? Awfully quiet. Is something up? I guess I was hoping Pan Am would mature. Mature into whom? Come on. Pretty much obvious Pan Am ought to lead the clan. Proved it amply. The only thing she proved is that she cares. But don't confuse that with wanting power. I think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. Question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi. Mm-hmm. 
If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? Earth to V, your cogs are grinding. Folks fears. What about? Buy Saul some time. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. Do you fellas really think we'll find anything of value there? It seldom happens, but they both seem to agree on that point. I'm going to buy myself a vintage RV. <laughs> Old age is hitting hard, huh? <laughs> Screw you all. What are you looking at? Wish I were on the road. Okay. What do you want? Don't tell her this might be the end. You outside of your head. She wants to quit her job and call Fire and Mike. Come here. Except there might not be a here tomorrow. Brother, don't even don't start that. with me. But I've if you send that, day. she's going to imagine the worst. Is that what you want? So what am I supposed to write? This I could get behind. Gotta keep moving. Thanks, Cass. You earned it. Break a leg tomorrow. Oh, I'll break more than that, kid.
don't just stand there, have a seat. Dorn, so nice here. Mm-hmm. Something's gnawing at you, I can tell. Whatever it is, you can tell me. Nothing's gnawing at me. Stop, this is irksome. Pan Am. Have you... I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow, I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? You feel responsible for them, though. Who in the right mind wouldn't? It's not the responsibility I'm worried about. I'm just looking at this with a cool head. Saul has made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. But only I know what I'm good at and at what I stink. I'm not a miracle worker, V. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... I'll be right there with you tomorrow. Whatever happens, we'll be together. We'll manage. I don't know what I would do without you. You do what you needed to. What do you know? V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? Will you say something? Not as much as I'm afraid for you. Come here. Any for your thoughts? I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. I've been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. Before another likely shouting match with Saul. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. And I sat here waiting for the world to fall away. For my mind's RPM to drop to zero. Did it? No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting, freezing on a cliff. I could sit here with you all night. I think I'd like that. You have no idea how much I needed that. Let's go before our asses freeze over. Saul's back. Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new. Looks like everyone's ready. Ready as they can be. Not your usual raid. First for many. Mitch probably roused them. I just got back from doing some reconnaissance. You'll want to see this. Thanks. The plan is simple. We have two objectives. One, get into Arasaka Tower. 
and assist V in accessing Makoshi. And two, take advantage of the confusion to gather as much equipment as we can. Prizes like that will see to our cash flow problem. The only way into Makoshi is to dig through to Arasaka Tower's underground levels. Which means we have to hit the Maglev Tunnel construction site and hijack the Night Corp Cirk. Last but not least, intel from our recon drone has showed us a couple of weak points. This valley leads to the site. I doubt they'll be expecting trouble there. All the same, we'll want to move quickly. Time is of the essence. We can't allow the guards to call for backup. And if we're too slow? That'll be a job for Bob and his jammer. We'll just have to get close to their comms antenna and start transmitting. Let's not kid ourselves. It won't stall them for long. Let's hope it keeps them busy just long enough. Are there drones there? Early detection systems? Anything? It's not Fort Knox, yet Night Corp is using Militech for security, so you never know. I guarantee you they're patrolling the area. In any case, our drones will match theirs. Teddy will be on the lookout to raise the red flag. Sites walled in. Are Panzer's gun big enough for that gate? You bet your ass it is. Sounds good so far. What else? Once you're inside, you'll need to reach the cirque and get it to do your bidding. Enter Mitch and Carol. Get that drill up and running, and the road to the cellars of Arasaka Tower will be wide open. From there, V, Pan Am, and I will get to the laboratory and find a way into Mikoshi. And while we're drilling in, should we expect anyone to crash our party? If everything goes as planned, nobody should know where we are or what we plan to do. Feel free to look around more if you want. We still have some time left. I think I've seen enough. Well, that about does it. V, you ready? How will we get back from there? The same way we'll go in. And fast, both ways. Our people will try to hold the road while we're inside. So, V, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Is everyone up to speed? Start your engines, folks. Bobby, do you remember the jammer? Sure do. We're on it. Pan Am. Let's be. Did you check if all systems are operational? Check. Nitro injector clear. Launcher's also green. We're good to go. Then let the fun begin. 
Deal with the Panzer. You got it? Can you put it out? Get the fuck out if not. Christ, people, where are you? I'm out here by the Panther. What's the hold up? Brace yourself. Hang in there. like I said she would. Propulsion, weapon systems, launchers, all falling like dominoes. Is there anything you can do about it? I'll try. Either I do this, or this rattle trap will really be scrap. You get out. Help our folks. We'll provide cover. Just hurry, all right? turn now. B, watch them, all right? Copy that. 
There's likely a control room upstairs we can link remotely to the Cirque from there. Brace yourselves. I got a terminal. We're jacking in. What about security protocols? V, it's not a space station. It's a dumb, big-ass drill. Don't worry. Carol will slice through it like butter. All right, we're firing up the Cirque. Aiming to bore through to Arasaka Tower. This will take some time. V, we'll need you to cover us. We've got company. A lot of it, too. V, help us out here! Fucking Militech is not letting up! Damn. It's looking like the drill vectors are auto. How can we pilot this? That's a mistake. You're gonna sweet talk this bitch into it. Mitch, kill that autopilot and hit manual override. Got it. It's working. Bear for takeoff. Watch out. Call from the right. How are we doing, Hank? 11%. Can't you speed it up? Our hands are closed. I want laser focus. Try to buy you as much time as we can. Bunch of blind. We'll keep watch over Mitch and Carol and see to that gate.
Please don't leave questions like that hanging. Bob and Teddy are dead. And it's my fault. Teddy and Bob, they knew the risks, V. Everyone knows. So do I. And if you'd known how this would turn out? I'd do it all over again. For anyone in the clan. Saul told me you brought in some help from Akoshi. Someone from the outside. Mm-hmm. Alt. And who is that? Alt's an AI. Roguish. You're getting help from an AI? Well, nothing can surprise me now. Only one capable of breaking into Arasaka's systems. And we wouldn't get into Mikoshi without her? Well, we sure as hell wouldn't get out. You trust her? This... Alt. Yeah, she'll help us. Why? Something got you worried? I trust you. That's all I'll say. By extension, I trust this alt won't pull any rugs out from under us. Things will work out. They gotta come too far for him not to. This would be it. How much farther to our socket tower? Not far. It should be easy sledding from here. Shit. Do you see them? I think something's wrong. You should be used to this by now, Saul. Things rarely go as planned. We have no idea what's waiting for us Fellas, inside. what's the issue? Carol and the rest. Militech's all rattled up. Cut them off. They won't last long on that site. Jesus Christ. I'm taking the Panzer. They need all the help they can get. Are you out of your mind? The answer is no. You can't operate the Panzer alone without frying that gaunt brain of yours. Do you have a better idea? They're family, Pan. I'm not leaving them behind. Saul, are you on board with this? V, someone make him see reason. Mitch is right. The three of us have still got a decent shot. But without him, they've got none. You're sure about this? Saul! We're talking goddamn suicide! Look out for yourselves. They'll kill you! I'll catch you later. Saul! Carol, He's... I'm heading your way. Hang They're in gonna... there! They're gonna... Kill me a beer this after this. Nothing. You two go on up and see what's gotten into them. 
Once you're mobile, I'll follow. Secure the rear. V, let's go. engine overheated and choked when drill bit met reinforced concrete. Bypassing should Moment override truth. the emergency. Here it goes. Got her in manual mode. Everything all right? No. What the fuck happened? Pan Am. No. Well, well, yeah, yeah, Pan Am. What, what's going on? No, 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 no. Pan Am. I'm here. I'm a bit bruised, is all. I've endured worse. Pan Am. For a sec, I thought you'd. It's okay, V. Everything's okay. It's all. Tunnel's clear for now. Any word from Mitch? Still nothing. I knew it. it could be a problem with the comms. Hmm. Mm hmm. Come on. Let's finish this. What's this? Seismic dampers. They're designed to protect buildings against earthquakes. Seems we're still below the basement. Right. We have to find a way to a level higher up. Welcome to Night City. Some kind of maintenance shaft. It looks like it leads upwards. Then isn't this place positively saturated with radiation? Who knows? Great. Short. Get 
feel it. We gotta hurry. Anyone know where we are? If we look around, we'll find out. I see something there. The guards need our attention first. V, take care of the sentries. Silently, if you can. Don't like this. Not one bit. You thinking it's serious? Sure sounds it. We'll be here till sundown at least. It always like this around here? Nah, almost never. That's why I don't like it one bit. They have a whole squad there. Convoy security, maybe. Okay. Things are a little trickier than we expected. Their systems must have detected vibrations under the building when we drove through. All units are on alert. Which means instant cutoff of all passages. Like rats in a cage. Nikoshi. A ways to go still? No. The lab is in the next sector over. But we need to get there first. Where exactly are we? Plant and services level. And it's where we'll stay if we don't disable security. Are there any access points? Gotta get to one stat. I'm looking. Give me a sec. I found one. It's not far. You can jack in your personal there. Okay. Better hope there's a port for Alt Char, too. To I'm sending you the shortest route. Uh, we need to lift this goddamn lockdown first. Just keep your heads down. Nobody needs to know about our little visit in here. I wouldn't touch that door. Unless you want a horde of Arasaka elites coming down on our heads.
vault. The shards in. Yes. How much time do you need to? It is done. Well, I'll be dead. Hell yes! It worked. So we can keep going to Makoshi. Your path lies open. Still alive, you two. For now. We good? I'm ready. Likewise. Let's move. Something's a mess. It's the hush. Does anyone else have the chills? Something happened here. We'll soon find out what. Mikoshi is near. They probably didn't even realize you had cut through their ice. No mercy, it seems. Gotta remember what mercy is to show any. The guard tried to evacuate them. Non combatants. They didn't have to die. Human and disgusting mercy is disgusting. 
Like how did, yeah, whatever. Not be able to phase through the ground. I couldn't move, move niggas, bro. Bro, stop climbing the fucking thing.
I can't even get out of fucking. Adam Smasher, I remember you. Promised to kill Silverhand once. here with us now he can't talk but i can feel him under my skin what the fuck are you talking about in the end got you silverhand triumphs Look too strong. I'll make it. The access point lies before you. Link to it. Insert yourself. Search for me on the other side. Come on. Lean on me. I can do this. So listen, all I know for sure is Alt's bound to stage a coup in my head. Can't know who'll be coming back from this cyber joint. So I gotta thank you now. V, shut up and do whatever you have to do. Any parting advice? Just be yourself. fuck is going on here? I don't. It's probably a spirit. Yeah, it is. Because he didn't... He's not there no more. Let us go then, you and I. When the evening is spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half-deserted streets, the muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels.
and sawdust restaurants and oyster shells. Streets that follow like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask what is it. Let us go and make our visit. Hey, Johnny. All packed, you wash out? Got your one-way ticket? This funny to you? You know, discovered one nice thing about becoming Johnny Silverhand. You stop giving the slimmest shit about Johnny Silverhand. That right. This mean you've already decided what comes next? Want a word with Alt first. Where is the wench? Haven't caught on yet, have you? What? What do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. Hey, Alt. So seeing as we seem to have the soul splitting out of the way, what's next? I am currently verifying the checksum and eliminating engram copy errors in the process. Wait, you mean... I... Am I a construct? She means you followed in my footsteps. Next step's to copy you into the gonk's brain. Wait, hold on. I want to know what the hell happened to me exactly. I applied Soul Killer to separating your two psyches, thereby creating V's distinct construct. An added analgesic protocol precluded any perception of pain. I was unable to eliminate all the changes made through the Johnny Data incursion and override, but V's engram integrity remains high. Meaning you can transfer his psyche back into his brain? As if onto a blank, virgin partition. You two still plan to obliterate Mikoshi? Mm-hmm. It's gotta burn. What about everyone locked away there? I will free them. Take them with me. Cut the crap. You'll gobble them up like so many morsels of code. Make them part of you. As if they could hope for anything better. Come on. So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. Alt? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons... Christ, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. Fuck. You shall live for about six months. Perhaps somewhat more. No, no, no. 
There's gotta be something. Something we haven't thought of. Your body will see you as an intruder. But it's my body. The biochips nanites have altered it permanently. The body is now Johnny. Alt, give us a minute. V and I need to talk. I can't... I can't believe it. Everything. All we did. It was pointless. I've had enough of this. Of everything. You most of all. Perfect. Because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping your body. Where's she even gonna take you? Beyond the Black Wall. To become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. Didn't think life was worth clinging to. Not at any price, anyway. Cause it ain't. Wrong. That light beyond the black wall. See? That's hope. Could be the flames of hell or heaven's grace. Might also be an engram reading code. But it's a promise of survival. We've learned how to turn into pure data. But an animal still prowls inside us. And its instinct to survive almost can't be extinguished. Yeah, that instinct's part of being human, but so is denying. What's it like beyond the black wall? Assuming I don't lose my fucking mind, at least no one can ride my ass there. What about hanging around as a construct? Just till we find another way. Finding another way would mean making a deal with Sokka. I'll pass. Is there really no other way? As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Guess I meant... I don't know. A happier ending. For everyone involved. Here? For folks like us? Wrong city. Wrong people. You have the right to make a choice you have earned through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. If you were me, what would you do? You should come with me. What's that mean for me, exactly? Am I gonna... become like you? I was a netrunner. I understood how to survive. I cannot speak for you. Beyond the Black Wall, dangers lurk. That is no sanctuary. But it's better to be a free spirit shredded than to wither. Trapped in a dying body. Don't do it, V. You've been running from this all along. It'll change you. You won't be you anymore. And you? Already took that first step a while back. I'll have an easier go of it. What I told you at the piss to Sophia. We stick to that. I'll go. You stay. Turn in your back on the problem again? Guilt creeps in, and that's that? You give up? Stop. Just stop. Gonna just roll over instead of fighting for what's yours? Decommission yourself because you're too fucking scared to say goodbye? 
It's my decision. Let me make it. You're loyal, I'll grant you that. But damn it, are you dense? Haven't changed a bit since we met. I'm so damn tired, Johnny. I just want to start anew. Even if I don't know what that means. It better be good for you, too. V, I'm just... I'm just scared for you. I'll see you around, Johnny. I'll ever get used to this.
shit got a pack too. And I gotta stop talking to you, V. Everything. Got a bit of time. Think I'll manage to swing by and visit you. much, but I'm all right with that. Gonna need a ride. Steve. Gotta talk to Steve. This is fucking crazy. It's me, Steve. Hey! Hey, guy. What's up, Chum? Because I got that new album from Curse These Metal Hands. First four tracks? Preen genius. Got the shivers first time I played it. Been practicing those chord progressions. Yeah, but I keep botching them. Doubt I'll ever play it smooth. I practice whenever I get the chance. Don't get a lot of chances, though. Practice, Chumba. You'll get it in the end. Eventually, you won't even have to think about it. You'll just feel the flow. Been working on another song. Want to hear it? Later, maybe. Kinda in a hurry now. Bet you didn't get that shiner all by yourself. Um... Old man. Yeah, forgot to wake him up. He was late getting to work. I mean, I guess I kinda deserved it. Grab my alarm clock later. Door's open. You're not gonna need it? Can't stand that fucking thing. Need wheels and a good driver for the day. Couple of things in town I gotta take care of. No problem. I'll take you. My mom wigs out when I don't tell her I'm leaving. But it's not like she can hear me when I try to warn her. You ready? Hey, so when I play a lot, my fingers hurt. What do I do to stop them? You don't. Metal strings cut into your fingertips, make them sore. Just how it is. Oh. Don't worry. Play long enough and you'll get calluses. Start hitting What do you think you're doing, you little cameras. shit? Won't hurt Going a bit. Going out. Where? Uh, just out for a sec. Be back soon. Back inside now. I'm not about to let you go out, do who knows what, you hear? For fuck's sake. You swipe my keys again? Inside. 
Now, you shit! The fuck you want? Get your own wheels, dead. Hey, relax. Why so tense? Steve's helping me out. He'll be back in two hours. Tops. Chill. I decide when the punk comes, goes, what he does. Not you. He won't come back empty-handed. Two hours. And you hand me those Eddie as soon as you come through the door. All right, Dad. Who the hell's that? Who the fuck knows? Another tramp? All look the same to me. Probably a yapper. Don't God have to pay me, you know. I know, but dear Dad's gonna want those heads. Sure he is, him, but I know how to cobble some together myself. Hop in. Get the scratch. Promise you won't tell? You deal in drugs, young man. No! Come on! Mrs. Juarez pays me to clean her place, but I don't gotta do anything. It's already clean. Think she's lonely. Just wants someone to talk to. Could very well be true. Where to? Time machine. Nice! Saw Carrie Uridine there once. You a fan? Of the legend? Of course I am! Why? Aren't you? Carrie's all right. Heard something on the radio about Carrie using Silverhand's death, writing that to fame. Can't do much about media vultures. Got shit for brains, especially the ones who cover music. Carrie's a damn good musician. That's all that counts. The real deal always has been in every way. God, makes it sound like you know him. Cause I do. I'm gonna be a musician someday, too. Don't forget, it's not the easiest gig. Yeah, yeah, I know. Gotta work hard, practice. To start, sure, but it only gets harder after that. The critics, the haters, non-stop pressure, batshit crazy lifestyle. It can chew you up. Better have something to fall back on. What? Something. Anything that pays the bills. You'll never grow desperate. Desperate's not a good place to be. The music's in you anyway. It's like blood. It'll always be there. Ha! <laughs> Gotta start scribing songs then. You'll get good with practice, like anything else worth doing. The sooner you start, the better. Got a few tunes in my head already. Preem. Lyrics don't come easy, though. I come up with anything, seems like it's already been done, or it just sounds stupid. Kind of don't really know what to write about. Be honest. Only ever write the truth. Especially when it comes to your feelings. I don't get how I could lie about my feelings. Don't write love songs if you're not head over heels. Don't write sad sex shit just because you think there's beauty and sadness. Uh, okay. When something really hits you in the gut, that's when you sit down and write. Truth's elusive. Sometimes music's the only way to grasp it. have arrived. Preem, hang here a minute. 
Nah, I'm coming in. Flip through the new releases. What can I do for you? Heard Carrie Uridine pops by once in a while. Best music store in Night City. Everybody pops by occasionally. Know why else they come? No, but got a feeling I'm about to find out. I don't snoop on customers, don't keep no record, and I don't run my mouth. So, how can I help you? Looking for a six string electric. Feast your eyes. Something solid and true. What? And they're not? Cheap clunker is made out of shit and plywood that itself was made out of unseasoned veneers. Still playable. Just gotta know how. Rattle on the low E, cause the next boat. Nothing a screwdriver won't fix. Most important thing is the pickups. Guitarist gotta have something decent there. Don't give half a fuck how it looks. Okay. No offense, but I'm looking for a real instrument. And willing to pay real money. Ah, should have said so. Come on, let's go out back. I'm coming too. Sure, you might learn something. How's this? Whoa! To the fucking right awesome. and left, the latest chromatics and Hendersons. Vintage axes in the back. Deleuze Orphean, not a fake. Take a good look. Relax, just making sure. Looks authentic, well maintained. Must be around, shit, 70? 90 and still going strong. Fretboard's pure organic ebony. Tenzor Paradise. This a replica? Real as you or me. Gotta be over a hundred years old. Double, Double humbucker, perfect. neck screwed in, not glued. A beauty. Classic. Perfectly balanced, too. Barely needs holding. May I? Of course. Drum away. Best day ever. I'm gonna let you two play around in here alone. Else those savages out front will clean out half the store. Never ever heard anyone play Silverhand like that. You know, I read he never took any lessons. Chum was totally self-taught, made up his own style. How do you do that? I mean, sound just like him.
Good ear, kid. No one can imitate Silverhand's style. But you did. I just heard you. Obviously got a bit of him in me. Or a lot. Maybe I am Johnny. But how? Johnny'd be like 80 million years old. And you're like, way too young. You know, this is just a body. How the dice landed for me. Ultimately, I am who I am. <laughs> yeah, right! Chum, you're a bigger Psycho fan than I am. Still haven't explained how you do it. Don't worry about that. Just come up with your own style, and all you need for that is practice. And talent. Talent you got. Really? You think so? What? Don't think you're any good? A little self-criticism is useful. But believing in what you got, that's much more important. A real rocker boy. Doubt that'll be me, ever. Come on, have faith. I just don't say things I don't think are true. Not anymore. Best day ever. Fuck! My hands are shaking. Rockers are rebels. They always speak their minds. Tried once with my dad, you know. Didn't go so well. In time, you'll learn who you really are. What you really want from the world. I don't understand. Want to be a real rebel? Gotta be yourself first. Be authentic. Rebels are made, not born. Made from the punches life throws at them. The punches they take. You know, you're weird. But I like you anyway. Huh. You're all right, kid. Gonna play some more? Nah, short on time. Let's pay. Delta out of here. Take it. Excellent. Glad to see she'll be in uh, good hands. Help you with anything else? No thanks. Here you go. See ya. Let's Delta. Still got some biz to take care of. All right. Roll. Sure thing. Where to? The cemetery. You got it. <laughs> My dad says there's going to be another Cope War. Liable to jump at each other's throats any day now. Think it's true? Think there'll be another war? Asking the wrong guy. Got no interest in the topic. Couldn't care less, to be honest. Know why? Why? 
Because I realized I don't have to. Got a friend who lives around here. Where? Can't see it from here. Just saying. He a good friend of yours? Invited me over to his house once. His mom made lunch. Then we went and hung out on the bridge. I like driving through here. It's nice. City looks alive. Um, because everyone's out walking around? Not what I mean. It's like we created a monster and never even noticed when it started to eat us alive. <laughs> like Frankenstein? Frankenstein's monster, you mean. You know what? You're right. It is nice out here. Never been out this way? No, I have. Just never noticed. Never had time to just sit down and watch. City slipped through my fingers, just sped right by. Passed underfoot, overhead, and I can't even say when it happened. Gonna write a song about it? Maybe. Nice pendant. Looks good on you. Just a keepsake. Oh. Uh, belong to someone important? Yeah, someone really important. What are you gonna do with it? Put it back where it belongs. Can I come with? Wait here, okay? Won't be long. Okay.
else who'd have had the guts to make a call like that? Not a soul. Can't carry this around anymore, you know? Can't keep wallowing. Can't keep obsessing over what happened. Couldn't forget you anyway. I'm wearing your goddamn face. Thanks for... Huh. Well, for everything. I'm wiser now. And I don't plan to waste it. So this is goodbye. Where to now? Hey, hey, what's this? Want one? Gave all that up. So should you. Bad for your body. Bad for your soul. Where to now? I got a bus to catch. The person you just, uh, visited, he died a while ago? Not that long ago. You miss him? A little, yeah. When my grandpa died, I missed him a lot. But now I only miss him sometimes. Mm. your guitar no I didn't haven't forgotten a thing never will a real nigga shit right there gave him a keepsake to a legend, man.
Avi, I know you're a free bird and all, and you're gonna do what you want when you want. But you could at least let me know you're alive, you know? I, I don't want to say anything, but you missed your last checkup. And like I told you a million times, uh, just call when you can, okay? See ya. V, dejate de pendejadas. Straight to voicemail again? What's going on with you, eh? Lose your tongue or what? I know I wanted to tell you I'm, I'm cooking a supper on Sunday for Jackie's birthday. All his favorite food. <laughs> Chilaquiles, tamales. If I could get some real corn, oh, maybe even a lote. <laughs> It'd be nice if you could come over. Think about it. Cuídate, amorcito. Take care, love. on V for getting him on board with this, so hats off. I'm just wondering how you feel about that, Johnny. Having another person give their life for you. Especially when you're probably just back to all-nighters and cheap tequila, laughing at how stupid he was. Or has your conscience finally learned its lesson? That is, if you've even got one. Good luck out there, Johnny. And don't ever come back to Night City. Reach me about your decision. I can't understand it. 
You were so damn close. One hollow and you'd have lived. Gratitude's one thing the NUSA's good at. Yet you preferred to give up, await death. For no good reason I can see. In the name of what, V?